Hey everyone, Patrick here with Anime Cons TV. And an episode we've been wanting to do for quite a while has been talking about convention badges. And what do you do with them after the con? Uh, if you've only been to a couple cons, you probably think, oh, what's the big deal? You know, I just keep it as a souvenir. Or maybe you even throw it away after the con. But once you've been to a lot of cons, uh, it starts being a problem. Uh, so we asked a few episodes ago to uh, send in some ideas of what you do with your badges. We heard from Melissa McCommon who said, I've been storing mine in a box with my program books, but now I should get started on displaying them. Uh, that's actually what I did for a while too. I, I just started, you know, just put it on my dresser and then I had enough, I got a shoe box and put it in that. And uh, so I, I've had to find other solutions. Um, another member of our podcast, Doug, found a good solution, and uh, he sent us this video. I used to put a lot of my convention uh, badges on and just kind of a nail that was on the wall that came in the apartment. It wasn't very organized. As you can see in this picture, I just kind of stuck them all right there and let them build up. Unfortunately, a problem worth having is I started going to a lot more conventions, especially after I finished college, you know, 10 years ago, and could go to a lot more cons and the system kind of fell apart as you can see in the second picture here the, it kind of became a little too big to kind of fit in there and I just kind of plopped everything down on the dresser that was underneath the nail on the wall it was a very simple solution that only worked for a little while um, but recently I had a new idea for what I was going to do for uh, storing my con badges and it's still a work in progress but I think it's something that a lot of you guys might like if you look carefully you can see this is just a like a baseball cap rack if you have a lot of baseball caps um, this was one that I just kind of had as a kid that I don't really use anymore because I don't really wear baseball caps that often um, it still even says caps on the top um, and you can find one of these pretty inexpensively if you just kind of Google wooden cap rack or you know you can go find it on Amazon and stuff or if you're a little more handy here I'll kind of zoom in you can just kind of see the shape it's you know got the little slot there and then the big hole this is something you could build on your own if you've got you know a little bit of time and just some pretty basic tools it's a pretty simple carpentry project um, what I'm planning on doing is cutting this little top part off so it no longer says caps. But if you look at it, you know, you just kind of place it on the wall like that. And then you can start taking your convention badges and stacking them like that. So you get a lot more space with them. And you've got, you know, here's two on a couple different pe pegs. And you can kind of organize them however you want. If you want to go in, you know, chronological order, you know, maybe you want to put them the oldest ones at the top. Maybe you want a specific peg that's just for, say, oh, I've been going to this con the longest. All the convention badges for that one are going to be a certain peg. But again, you can see this is pretty straightforward. And another nice thing about this is if you move or rearrange your room and something, if you take it off the wall, badges still stay in place. You know, and then you can just kind of pack it up neatly and then put it right back on the new wall wherever it's going to end up. So it's a pretty simple process. Uh, like I said, if you go on Amazon and just look up wooden cap rack, you can find something like this. I'll show you guys again. Here's just the slots and the pattern like that. You can find it. I, when I just checked, it was about $20 for a single one. They also make double ones if you want to have a lot of con badges and stuff like that. Another benefit of kind of this wooden pattern is you can kind of paint it however you want. So if you're really artistic or you want it to match kind of the room that it's set in, it's another easy step in the process. So that's how I'm going to store my badges from now on. Uh, let's see what else everyone else is doing. Thanks, Doug. That hat rack is a pretty cool idea, but I've been to, I think, over 160 conventions now. And I'm not even sure that that hat rack is enough for me. Um, I was storing mine in a shoe box and it's a plastic shoe box. I've got one here. So it looks like this. And there were so many 
I needed to have two shoe boxes. Then those got full. So I had to find another solution. Uh, so what I started to do was I got an album. Uh, so in order to do this, I had to make some sacrifices. First, the lanyards. I have a lot of lanyards. Uh, now some of these aren't even from conventions. This says monster. Uh, this is, here's an old Jenny on lanyard. I've got special ones for conventions. AX 2001. Uh, here's an Enemy Boston 2003 lanyard. Uh, there's a few Crunchyroll ones. Witch Hunter Robin. So some of these, you know, they're obviously dated. Some of these are pretty cool. Like there's a BlizzCon one here. It's a nice quality one. There's PlayStation 3 lanyard. I don't remember what that's from. A Sony one. AnimeOnline.com. Remember that? That went away. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of lanyards. Um, and then there's a lot of generic ones. Some are uh, just like literally string. Um, and then there's, yeah, there's a whole bunch of ones that definitely aren't worth keeping. So I'm probably going to dispose of those. Um, and then th th that was obviously taking up a lot of space. So I'm sacrificing those. I'll, I'll probably keep a few of the more special ones. Like, oh, what's this? Uh, Gallifrey 1, 25 glorious years. That's kind of cool. So I'll hold on to that a little longer. Uh, I've got one. This is, I don't know what that is, but I have one in here somewhere. It's U.S. Attorney's Office. And that's pretty cool. Oh, Sword and Laser, another fine podcast. Check them out. Tom Merritt and Veronica Belmont. Uh, so I was putting these in the scrapbook and I realized I'm going to have to sacrifice more to make them fit in this uh, scrapbook photo album. So also the holders, all those plastic badge holders, all of these, they're just plastic. I really, the badge is the important part. These are worthless. Uh, of course, in doing so, I realized uh, a lot of the ribbons that are attached to these what do I do with those? So I'm going to show you my photo album of uh, all my badges. Oh, here's a, for some reason there's a toothpick in this. It says fresh from Japan, viz. No idea what convention that was because I took the badge out. Oh, here's a Marriott key. I don't know why I saved that. Uh, there's some with just colored bottoms. We've got Oh, a bunch of chains. I could probably string these all together and make a giant one. <laughs> uh, then there's a bunch that have the pins on the back. And you know, I always hated the ones with the pins because you know, have to put a hole in your clothing. Uh, so one tip is all these lanyards, keep a few so that when you go to a convention, bring a lanyard with you. And if they give you the pin type, or they don't give you a lanyard at all. You've got a lanyard and you don't have to pin it to yourself. And it's a lot, a lot better to have a lanyard. Plus, if you've got a nice lanyard, it's probably more comfortable than, you know, this ball and chain stuff or some of these, there's some really horrible elastic things here that, yeah. Um, so that's how I've disposed of it. Oh, there's some other stuff in here. Like I've got <laughs> these. These were uh, staff at Portcon, Maine. We would tie these around ourselves to designate that we're staff rather than having special shirts or something. So like a lot of people put it around their arm. Some people wore it with headbands. Some people just had it dangling off the belt, but you know, it's just these were to designate staff. And so I did keep these. Uh, anyway, so on to my album. I've got this at Michael's, and it's a photo album. And inside, you find, inside there's these pages here. Here's a blank, some blank ones. And they've got uh, a slot on the top, one on the bottom, and places to write over on the side. And pages are double-sided, so you've got plenty. And uh, I forget how many of this held, it's like, uh, I think I've got the thing here. How many? 
No, nope, it doesn't say. I must have thrown that part out. But yeah, it holds a, a ton. And I figured out how many I'd need, how many conventions I've been to, and how many of these slots I need. And so what I can do is just slide the badges in here. Um, I actually have one. Here it is. I've got my Silicon Valley Comic Con lanyard and badge and still in everything. Uh, now if you've had these badges a long time, sometimes the printing on the badge will start sticking to the plastic. And so, you know, if you're storing these and you plan to take it out someday, maybe you want to store it outside of the plastic. Because some of these, I actually lost some of the printing because it's stuck to the plastic. But anyway, uh, so I take out this and I can just slide it right into the photo album. And then I don't need this anymore. This is just a crappy plastic thing. Although this one has a, like a Ziploc seal on the top. That's weird. And then it's just a plain black lanyard. Nothing special. Okay. Um, so w with, uh, with some of these, they fit in nicely. And so what I've done is I put them in chronological order. So if we go way back here, let me go way back to the beginning. And I keep track of my conventions on AnimeCons.com. There's a convention log. If you have a forum account, you can go to a members section and log all the conventions you've been to. You can even rate them. And so I referred to that in reminding me what conventions I had been to. But where that threw me off was there were some tech conferences I went to that aren't in the anime cons or in the fancons.com database. And, you know, I still had the badges, so I wanted to put them with the rest. So I had to leave space for some of those tech conferences. Uh, so when I, before I put them in the album, I spaced them out uh, based on my log on animecons.com. And then I figured out what other badges I had. Like, for example, here is Macworld Exposition 1994 and so I still have that and that actually fit in with this special plastic thing which says exhibits only on the top so I was able to slide that whole thing in and uh, then I've got botcon 99 and this is where the the fancons.com and the animecons.com log started listing because that's in there uh, anime expo 2000 got Aresia 01, Katsucon 2001, and so they're all in chronological order, but then there's occasionally some where I had to skip, because I don't have that badge, or there was no badge for that convention. Some have wristbands, and I didn't keep those. Uh, so there's blank slots, and I left them blank just in case maybe I've stored the badge somewhere else and it'll show up, or, you know, just uh, as, as a spacer because there was a convention there. And what I plan to do, and I haven't done it yet, I'm gonna have the name of the convention, I'm gonna write it here, the dates, and any notes about it. But I also got these star stickers. And like, I, like you can do on AnimeCons.com and rate the conventions, I'm gonna mark my rating down here too for handy reference. So, you know, I've got uh, MikaCon 2001. That, I loved that convention, and I gave it five stars on the website, so I'm going to give it five stars here. Uh, so when you buy these stickers, remember, you're going to need a lot of them. Uh, you can get a pack of this. This is 715 foil stars. Uh, they probably sell this at your local grocery store or Staples. And uh, so this is only a couple bucks, so it's handy. Uh, and then go through and rate the conventions. You can remember, oh yeah, that was a good one. Like, Enemy Boston 2003, I'm giving that five stars. Uh, I might be biased, but that was awesome. Uh, Anime Expo New York, mm, I forget what I gave that, but eh, it was okay. Katsucon 2003, oh, that was Cat Snow Con. We all got snowed in. <laughs> Porkon Maine, and so, yeah, we've got, uh, it's just like a walk through memory lane here, seeing all these badges. And it, it's fascinating to see how badges have changed over the years, as print quality and badge types have changed, and art has gotten better. Um, you can see what was popular. And you can probably notice some things like, you know, as a con evolves, they 
clearly have more money to spend on badges. And uh, when people start using foil for badge numbers and oh, there's a whole couple blank pages. Uh, yeah, and so it's just a fun way to store it. And now it's all stored in this one book. Uh, the, for some of the stuff like Gallifrey, what people do is they give out those badge ribbons and they give them out a lot. And I didn't want to just toss all my badge ribbons. So when I get to the Gallifrey page, I've got the ribbons all folded up here. And there's a lot of them. Uh, Oh, they, yeah, there's more. They, they kind of come undone. There's more. And there's more. <laughs> bad ribbons are awesome. They're fun. So all these bad ribbons. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh, I've also got my, uh, my CES badge up here. Uh, now, when I got this, I was worried that some of the badges wouldn't fit uh, with this particular photo album that I got at Michael's um, and you can find it in the photo album section it's over near the scrapbook stuff um, and oh, here's more Gallifrey ribbons it's crazy right I'd like to see this take off at more conventions because it's fun and ribbons are cheap uh, but anyway uh, I was concerned that the badges wouldn't fit like I got this anime Boston uh, badge from uh, 2013 and this is you know pretty big but it does fit in here with some room to spare. Uh, the, there's only one badge I had a problem with in this entire thing. And I even mentioned it in the con report I did for that con a few years ago. That is San Japan 2015. That badge is this entire side. So what I did was uh, there's a little glue that goes through the page to hold the top and bottom separate and hold it to the other side. I just ripped through that and made the thing, the entire page is just one pouch now on this side because this badge is it's bigger than my hand. It's gigantic. Um, oh, I get some stuff sliding out the other side. Oh, <laughs> I hadn't put those in. But uh, yeah, so I really only had a problem with that one badge. Everything else fit and it's a pretty good size. Uh, if I can find a link to this album, I'll put it in the show notes that you can find on our site at Anime Cons TV. And uh, hopefully you can find an album like this near you. Uh, Wedding Con badge, that's fun. Uh, so if you have some unique way to store your badges, we'd love to see it. Uh, share your ideas, you know, even if it's just a photo of your badges hanging on your bedpost, send us a picture. Uh, you can email us at podcast at animecons.tv or text us a picture at 762-ADEQUATE. That's 762-233-7828. Uh, let us know who you are and what you do with your badges. Text us there or leave us a voicemail. We, uh, you know, we can't see your badges through voicemail, but leave us a voicemail and tell us what you do with it, even if you just throw it out. Because, you know, to some people these might be disposable. Uh, but yeah, we'd love to hear your ideas and see what you're doing. Um, even tweet us at AnimeCons TV. Send us a picture of what you're doing or post on our Facebook page. Uh, just look for AnimeCons TV. And uh, yeah, I hope to see some. I, I, I really like my idea, but uh, my collection of badges is huge. So uh, let us see some collections with smaller badges or... If you've got a bigger badge collection, if you're a dealer or a guest, you go to more conventions, I would love to know what you do with it because I need ideas for the future. I'm down to uh, just a few more pages that are blank, so I'm going to need either another book soon or another solution. So uh, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, I think next week is our feedback episode i think yeah all right so let us know we'll talk about it next week <laughs> thanks oh oh before i go we have a new app apple tv if you have the newer apple tv it, that's the apple tv that has the apps uh the one that they currently sell as of 2016 it's now 2017 you may be watching this in the future but if you have the apple tv that does apps we have an anime cons tv app please go download it 
check it out. You can watch all of the episodes ever since we went weekly. Uh, the ones fifth season and on. And those are the ones that are in HD. And uh, we also have all of our extras. So all the interviews and masquerades. You know, it's great to download this app and have those playing on your TV while you're working on cosplay. You can just have the costumes up there as background noise and inspiration. It'll be, it's great. Uh, and it's all there in one convenient place. So please download the Anime Cons TV app for Apple TV and uh, please take a second to rate it so you can do one to five stars. We'd appreciate five. Uh, but thank you. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.